We're going to back up and sit in the chair. Start with the chair if you have one and keep one nearby in case you need it uh, later on. But we're doing, uh, for February, we're doing appreciation, thanking our bodies. So we're going to start with a little massage. You can, I'm doing it seated. You can do it seated or standing, your choice. All right, so rubbing your hands together and creating some friction. And getting it nice and warm in between your hands. And on the back of the hand. And on the back of the other hand. All right, keep the hands going together and slowly raising them up over it, keeping them back and forth, stretching, 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 reaching high. Good. And let the wrist relax and shake. Fish, me, sun, she, go, rook, sish, watch, you. Do just shake off whatever isn't necessary at the moment. If you really feel bound to it, you can claim it later, but you know, you can let it go, let it go, let it go. Shake, nice, warm, welcoming to the folks in Vermont who we haven't seen in a while, and over to UK who's preparing for their lecture. France, and around, Japan, Australia, Hawaii. Oh, good, and one more time, stretching up, 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 stretch, and drop. And just appreciate how your shoulders feel after the stretch and the drop. And on one side, stretching up, reaching high up, Opening up through that whole side of the rib cage in the lung, stretching, stretching. And the other side, reaching up, stretching. And And the shoulder, each. Knee. Sun. She. Good. One more time, warming up the hands. So in Shinkaido, when we're doing these healthy warm ups, we're working to relax the tension in our shoulder and neck. Um, and we start there first. Um, and also, the reason is that later on, when you ever get to meditation, you've established a nice, relaxed neck and muscle group so that the blood circulation can be really good to foster a nice meditation. So that's why there's that emphasis there. So warming up the hands again, good. And taking it up one side of the arm and down on the end. So up. And down, ish, me, sun, she, go, rook, sish, hutch, ku, ju. And as you come up this time, support the elbow and tap across the trapezius. You can give yourself a pat on the back. You showed up today. Congratulations. As I've said before, 80% is showing up. So, congratulations. Plus, just a pat feels good. Tapping is nice. Good. And come down the inside and warm up the hands again. And up the other arm and down the inside and up. Ish. Me. Sun. She. Go. Work. Sish. Touch. And as you come up, support the elbow and tap the other trapezius. Ah. Find the spots that maybe are a little extra tense today. Um, and back down the ends. Then warming up the hands again. All right. And let's pay a little attention to our face and all the parts that help support us. So around the temples. Ish. Me. Sun. She. Going around the TMJ there at the top of the jaw. Ish. Me. Sun. She. Go and tapping across the top of the arch here, the zygomatic arch, just slightly. Everyone needs different amounts of so just tapping that's just comfortable enough for you. Down the jaw. Good. And massaging the heart, each knee. One, two, go, rock, sish, touch, two, two, and around the belly, each knee. Sun, she, go, sish, touch, go, do. Work down to the top of one's thigh, so from the hip to the knee, ish, knee, sun, she, 
Fingertips into all those various places around your knee joint and socket. Get in there, give a little extra attention. If you've been doing some extra activity, that we want to be grateful that our knees have taken us through. Good. And support the thigh and then pump the left lower leg and the knee. Knee. Sun. She. And down the other. Body to the knee. Knee. Sun, she, go, third, seesh, chin from the knee, down the calf, seesh, knee, sun, she, go, rook, seesh, chin and inner rattle that knee, socket and joint, a little bit of massage under tapping. Oh, gratitude for all that our knees have done for us in our lifetimes. And I'm supporting the thigh and pumping the knee. Hey, son, she, uh, good. All right, and then as you slide forward just a little bit on the chair, rock side to side and let your one hip bone come up off. And as the hip comes down, then the shoulder and head follows. And then the other side. So. Down to the hip, shoulder, rock, rock and release. Knee, sun, knee, neck and forward and back. So pelvis, belly button forward, belly button to the back of your spine and forward. Each knee, sun. She, go, go, stage. Good. So I think this let's warm up the feet and the toes. So rock from heel to toes. Just get your feet ready to be standing up. Each, me, sun, she, go, arms out in front and standing on up. Great exercise for the thighs to get out of the chair without support. And move my chair away. I keep it nearby if you if you uh, find that useful for you. All right, yeah, let's do a little bit more. Pick up that nice, uh, reaching up from one arm through tenso across the body, support and fully let that shoulder that's gradually getting warmer stretch out. And reaching again and across and support and across the tenso cross. And reaching behind you, up through chin, so and forward. Knee. Side. While you look forward, reach behind. Ish. It's one of the hardest. Knee. Knee. Sun. Great. Good. Shake and relax it now. Good. Other arm, reach far out to the side, reaching out through tenso, across, down, and release into that shoulder. The drop, reach far, up through tenso, across. Last time. Come on. And reaching to the back and forward, each. Knee. While looking forward, reaching behind each. Knee. Seven. Arm and legs. Doing great. Very nice. Okay. Let's just move our pelvis forward back. Each. Knee. Seven. Yeah. And raising up with the arms and palms open to the sky. 
Fill your palms and spiral them looking over one side each. Three, seven, eight, two, three, finish. Uh, keep the palms open to the hands and let the hips go side to side each. Three, seven, eight, Look, uh, stay open to the heavens and forward and back to your degree. That this is where your lower back is. And pelvis. Each. Big. Sun. Shake. One more time, stretching out. And let them release. And as you release, sink all the way down into the earth. Let the knees bend. And sink into the earth. Let your arms come up behind you. And opening up to the other Z. And sink. Knee. Oh. Oh. Sink. Seven. Oh. And sink. All right, everybody's in here, but we're going to practice louder. A little jump. Beach. Wow. <laughs> and sink. Seven. Last one. Go. Now, right, seven, just let your arms drop. And one more time, let the hips circle. Beach. Make. Sun of the way. Beach. Hey, son. Let's open our center. And I'm going to fix my obi. We're going to open with the stepping forward on the right foot, opening lower, middle, and upper. And let's go softly. Hey, son. Hey, son. Left foot. Hey, son. Hey, son. Hey, son. Hey, son. Hey, son. Hey, son. Huh? 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 And over there, let's do head and neck a little bit more now that we've got everybody warmed up. And I'm going to just gently circle my neck a little. Each. A. And away. Each. A. And I'm support a little bit with my arms just coming open to my chest. Circle me. Me. And down the way, and a little bit more of a hinge of the hips, and reaching out. If it's too soft, a little bit back to the neck, and that's softly each. Oh, oh, and give a name. Oh, oh. And in the direction of the age. Oh, yeah. oh. Me. Oh. Oh, my God. My hands open and the eyes open, everything open. And let's go. Oh. Me. Oh. Other direction. Each. Oh, oh shake the legs out. Lisa, a little bit. And now I'm going to use my hand again. You can pull it, it's actually my daughter's, but I love it. And you can use a chair, a counter sink, ball, whatever you find useful for you. Or you can practice balance on one foot. So, bending and lifting up. Or leg so that you can turn that ankle and wrist circles. Each name, sun, shape, go other way. Each 
big sun shape. Go up and down with the ankle pointing ish. Okay, sun shape. Go invert and ever in and out. Ish. Okay, sun shape. Go good. Check it out. Come around. And we'll do the other angle. So lifting up and circling ish. Okay. Sun, chi, go in the way, ish, chi, sun, chi, go up and down, ish, chi, sun, chi, go in and out, ish, chi, sun, chi, go good, check it out again. All right, we worked on the ankles, let's work on the hips, so swinging on the limbs, side. You can use support, you can stand on one leg, and let's just swing through the hip opening, back, forward, ish, a, sun, she, rope, work, sish, uh, you change the other side, reset your legs a little bit, keep them shady, and swing the other leg, ish, me, Sun, G, Go, Rook, Sish, Touch, G, G. Good. Do it again, a little reset. Now we're going to be doing a split stance. So my feet are shoulder width apart. I'm going to be stepping back with one leg. And first, I'm just going to be doing a stretch through the Achilles tendon, the gastric. Uh, you know, muscle and up through. So as I step back with my I'm doing my right side, the outside of my heel, my big toe, and my front knee down. So I feel that twist and stretch. Right. Up through that back leg. And I'm gonna stretch each knee. Done. She yeah. release. Switch sides, stretching back again, feeling the outside of the heel, the big toe, and let the front knee bend. It really does to me create that twist through that gastro muscle as I try to keep all of those places in contact. Each knee, sun, chi, go. Good. Back up to neutral stance, each shoulder width apart. Stepping back with one leg. This time I'm more on the ball. I'm on the ball of my back foot. And I'm going to let my knee drop down to the ground. Your distance. Be able to feel that stretch if you let yourself go down with support if you need it. Each knee. Sun. She. Go. All right, check out one second. Change sides. And we go down. In this case is my back. My left leg goes back. I'm on the ball of my left foot. Now that my left knee go down with or without support of your choice. Each knee. Side. Oh. Knee. Go. Take it out. Good. We've got to shake and slide or swing our hips side to side. So now as you move to the back of the chair or back of your ball, we're going to swing our leg, one leg out to the side and then the other leg. So let's go inch, knee, sun, she, go, and swing the other way. Like inch, knee, sun, she, Go. Oh, my hips are happy with that. Let's do that hip articulation. So with me really feeling our hip socket move. Please take care. I don't know your body. And if you have some requirements there about the range of motion, please do your do your body. You do you. Lifting up, open out, lift back, through, back, around, and down. Two more times. Ish, knee, sun. She go through. See, 
last time. In sun, shape, well, look, see, I skipped something there. I had to tell you something. I just saw how to get articulation. And up, open, back, through, back, through, and each knee, sun, shape, go, see, last time. Open, back, through, back, and down. Very nice. Okay. And the last one to appreciate our Asian heritage. It's American to sit in the chair so much. These are great for So we're going to go up and down, really letting our legs push us up off the floor as we squat down. So let's let's go. Ish. We. Sun. Chain. Keep going. Go. Good. Finish. Good. Wonderful. Very nice. Shake it out. Get a drink of water. I got myself where I'm taking my section up. Back and do some hip circles. Okay. All right. Finding a spot uh, that's good in the, your home space. And let us keep our feet together and very small hip circles supporting the coaching. Right around the tailbone, the coccyx. Each made sun in another direction. Each made sun. Open the stands and we'll get to more neutral stands. So support the koshi. Let's just do side to side, the do side to side, but don't do my side to side. Each made. Sun and forward back. Each me sun. Okay. Diagonals. Right diagonal. Left back. Right diagonal. Left back. Left front diagonal. Right back. Left front diagonal. Right back. I'm just doing all the points on the circle. Let's connect them. Side. Front. 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 Side. Back. 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 And let's go. Each. Me, sun. Good. And another way around. Ish. Me, sun. Very nice. Check it out again. Relax. Check your body. Have we touched the major places? Anything missing? We got it in neck today. If we hit everything. All right, and opening palms up to heaven one more time, reaching up, opening to the heavens. Let them fill, rain, snow, sun, vibrations, and bring that energy down over your crown chakra, right closest to the crown chakra, left or top, and just. Relax and stand there. Enjoy it. Bring that energy down and around through. So I'm bringing it around and through my face, my jaw, my neck, around and through my torso. Down and across my legs. Let the energy continue to keep dropping down into the earth. Let everything drip and rinse off through the fingers, through the feet.
and bringing your feet together, keeping that same soft concentration, breath, and look so Moksha Yaman. Ready. All right. Well, good morning, everyone. We've done our healthy warm ups. We're going to continue to work on Shogun Nahanta this week and probably next week. So, today we're going to start with working on uh, uh, a movement, somewhat like doing keto. So, just watch me before you join in. Some of you may be well aware of it, but I want us to practice. Um, feeling what it's like to step and we're going to start and move our bodies on the same side. So just watch me the first three. So I step with my right and I swing. My arms drop to my left. I step left and swing. Right, swing, left, swing. Okay. I want us to feel what it feels like to step and move the right side of our body to the right step and then a left step to the left side of our body. Let's see what it feels like. We're going to do it probably 10 times or more. Let's go. Beach. In. Sun. Shake. Go. Root. Beach. Touch. And I'm going to turn in my space, but you adjust your space. And let's go again. Beach. Me. Sun. Be. Go. Uh, okay. So you felt, hopefully, what it feels like to move your body when I would call unison, right side and right side working together. We're going to now switch it up, believe it or not, and we're going to step left and swing on the right. So we're going to have this spiral feel through our pelvis and our back as we move our body, lower part of the body to the left upper part of the body to the right. It looks like this. I'm going to step left, but swing on my right. Each. Me. Sun. She. Go. Root. So you should see what I'm doing. I'm now stepping with my opposite foot and, and while I swing on my right. So let's try it. We'll do it probably 20 times. So I'm going to be starting, stepping with my left, swinging on my right, just a soft swing. Step, beach, drop. knee, drop. sun, she, go, earth, beach, touch. Okay, I have to turn, but you judge your space. And let's keep going. I'm going to start again, stepping left, swinging right. Beach, me, sun, chi, go, root, leash. Right. Let's keep going. Begin to feel left, right step, left step, right step, right, right. Measure. Feel the, feel the body, the yep, upper half of your body moving in the opposite way. So left foot, right swing, go. Beach, me, sun, chi, go, uruk, beach, touch. Okay, we keep going, but now a lot of this is sort of a soft, lower, Level swing, swing up to about mid mid height. So it looked more like step left, and then we swing right up to that shoulder height and drop. Swing up and drop. Swing up and drop. Okay. So let's try it. See how it feels for you. Left step, right swing, swing up to shoulder height. Leash, me, sun, chi. Go, root, sage, 
Swing up to my shoulders, and then my swing continue up all the way around behind me this time and down to my left hip. And as I go to step right, I'm going to be swinging up, letting it come all the way around and down. And I step left, I swing up, round, and down. Okay? Is that reasonably clear? All right, again, thumbs up. We'll go for reasonably clear. All right, and starting with my left leg, my right hand, so my left foot is going to be stepping as I do um, a right gate on. Let's go. Each, all the way up, behind me, down my left hip. Now step right, lead the knee. And down to my hip, sun. She. Go. I'm going to change and adjust my spacing. Then I'm going to start with a left step and a right gate on. Begin to get your hands a little bit into a bit more of a tie show. You don't have to strain, but just a bit more open feeling in your hands. I just gotta redo this. All right, left step, right. Uh, from my right side, I'm coming from gate down. Let's go. Same through. Up, up, back behind, and now I step with my right. Each. Knee. Done. Go. We're going to be doing this a little bit of time through. Okay, now I'm just going to give a count and begin to feel the flow and the two sides of your body working in that spiral, that spiral sense. Last step, right there and go. Leash. Knee. Sun. Shake. Move. Look. Dish. Touch. I'm changing my directions. Keep going. Left step, right here done. Dish. Knee. Sun. So really feel it come from gate on all the way up through, all the way up through an opponent press to get our hip, shoulder. Up to tenso, reach behind me as it drops down to now the other here, and it reaches up, through, around, and behind. So try to adjust the body band and step it. 
Let's get a leash. Knee. Sun. She. Good. And now we're going to add a left step as I come from my right hip with gate on, left step and go. Leash. Knee. Sun. Go. And I'm going to change my directions. Again, I'm going to start with the left step. Right gate on. Go. Leash. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Very good. Shake it out. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of a review. Some people might be the first time through, but I'm going to review sort of the three sections to this. And then next week, we'll, we'll see about linking it all together. So for some people, this may be um, first or second time through. For others, you may have done it many times. So what we're studying is a big shape of an eye. Um, and there's the cross parts here. We go down the middle, and then there's cross parts the other side. So you can just you need to like and have a design. That's what it is. But we're going to study the three parts without doing the connecting pieces in the middle. All right. So standing, find the spot in the distance. Watch me. I'm going to do a step to the right. And then do a chigan. Go up. Tenso. And step forward. Jonah carries my eye, pulling all the way through. Okay, so let's try those three steps there. Right step, turn and face right, and I do two down. Turn it up, the tensile, down, Jonah. Good. Let's do that side again. This movement repeats itself throughout this kata, so it's a it's a good foundational piece to be able to do it. Right, then so left step, Jonah. Good. Ish, me, son. I'm going to turn my back for the people who find that helpful to study a movement from the back. So, again, yeah, I'm going to go to my right. Let's go. Leash. Knee. Sun. Leash. Knee. Sun. Let's try it to the left side. So from starting facing forward, go to the left. And left, Budanachi, Chuga, in my arms. Read together. Tenso, check out Budanachi, right, Jodhana. Back to start. Open to the left. Finish. Me, son, and me. Left. And so, right. I keep on my back to the screen for people who prefer that angle. I'm going to open in my left. Left. And so, there. Again, finish, me, So, as we've experienced, and as you probably can imagine, that right and left side have to get joined. 
don't worry about that intermittent step at the moment, just pivot from one side to the, uh, the other as best your footwork allows you. We're just gonna go back and forth, right, left, and feel that flow for, for a few minutes. Each knee, sun, knee pivot. Now I'm gonna go with the left step. Each knee, sun, pivot, and then we come with the right step. Each knee, sun, pivot. Left step, leash, knee, sun, pivot, leash, knee, sun, pivot, leash, knee, sun, be fine, pivot, leash. Sun, pivot, leash, knee, sun. Okay, one last movement before we close, just so that we review from of the other weeks, um, the, the, the other section. So this one, just walk from a little bit here to figure the angle here that's best. Okay, this one is. Uh, Opening, I'm sorry, right foot to the forward, I open to my right, bring the staff in my left to a Joda, here to me, cutting my pushing. Up and out. Up and down. And since I'm not breaking with the sword, it's fine to let your eyes move a little bit, move up with your hands. That's okay. So let's just try that stepping. So the right foot is forward, and the hand begins to swing around my right. Shoulder, come over to my left side, and the left jump on the left step. Each. You come up together, pivot, and chair not to step out right. Knee. Together. Sun. You to keep that same angle. Start with right foot forward. Up to the left, left yoga and left step. Leash. Knee. Sun. Another time. Right foot forward. Leash. Knee. Sun. Place to stop, keep your eye focused far forward, keep a nice shoko feeling where you are. Then you just straighten slightly, shoko, extend, brighten. Directly at the end of the chin, so long. And then slowly the way back down to show Yeah. Yeah. Very good. All right.